Stephen, arguably our best performance this season. Uh, I well, I think at uh, home anyway, um, it helps where you know we get a good start with the set. The set play we've been working on set plays um, on Thursday night, um, and, and Adam getting run at the back post. Um, that sets us off, and and you know you could easily kind of sit in. But I thought what we said after the Annan game when we dominated after 20 minutes, we really put a lot of emphasis on actually dominating for the first 20 minutes. Um, and I thought the boys did that to a T in regards to come after 20 minutes being four nil up. You're actually in Dreamland. There was a spell that I said at half time that I wasn't happy about. Obviously they got the the penalty, looked looked dubious, looked outside the box. However, the passage of play up to uh, before that, um, I wasn't happy. Happy with, um, and and obviously maybe about 10, 15 minutes before that, I wasn't happy with either. So, um, you, you could nitpick, but we we will we will do that because we do want to improve, and that's what I said to them in there. We just want to improve as a team all the time, and the boys are are taking it on board. But overall, as you say, a very good day. Four one, although Albion Rovers gave us a couple of gifts. I think everybody here could have seen it. If we took our chances, it could be six, seven, eight. Um, after the Albion Rovers red card, we got a free kick right on the edge of the box, and I think the fans wanted Nat Weatherland to hit it. Did you, did you have a pass on any messages to him? Well, all I heard was the, the fans chanting Nat's name. Um, you know, Ad, uh, Nat was fantastic, but I thought on the set plays, Adam Brown was fantastic all day, and I, th- I actually really, I was really confident that he was he was going to step up and, and hit a good free kick. Obviously, he was the other side of the post. He was maybe trying to be a wee bit too accurate um, because the keeper looked rooted, um, and, and Adam could have. Uh, easily have scored that with somebody of his ability but as you say I think that's um, becoming a, a fan's favourite here and quite rightly so and Edinburgh City dropping points today well, obviously they didn't get beat which is unideal but we're only one point behind them now with two games to go one point we're closer and, and we're not in control of Edinburgh so there's nothing we can do about that all we can do is stay in control of our game plan stay in control of our performance um, and I think if we if we keep performing well, we'll be winning. Although I think we've got a real tough test against Renard last week. Uh, sorry, next week, um, and it's a team that we've, we've struggled this season. But I think we're in a much better place now. Um, we were we're performance, and the players have got a bit of confidence. So hopefully we can go into it and with a different mindset of what we've done previously. Um, but no, I'm really pleased with the three points today. And as you say, it takes us um, one point away from Edinburgh. And just going over it again, we spoke about you having a kind of he- headache uh, going into this game. How good did it turn out the headache actually yeah. was? I, I mean, <laughs> we actually, I was, I was travelling in with Michael Moore today and we're, we're looking at the, the subs bench and even the full the full 22 players that we've got, you look at the squad, it's, it really is, it is impressive. Um, especially you actually see it in full flow when everybody's fit and as you say it does give you a headache but I always say it's a good headache you'd rather that than the other way where you've no good players available um, but it's um, it's difficult it's difficult for the team selection but I thought we, we got it right today Stephen thanks for your time Cheers. thank you Cheers. <laughs>